So as you saw in the last video, the first day on board is very busy. First you take the shuttle to the ship, wait in multiple lines, check in your luggage at the terminal, process paperwork, find your room, start unpacking, attend trainings, unpack some more, attend meetings, go to the guest safety briefing, and try to fit in dinner, then head to the stage to sound check and perform the sets. But once you get through that first day, the second day is a bit more relaxed. Mine started off with breakfast, followed by a quick one hour training. Afterwards, I went to the medical center to check my overall health and well-being, and then headed to the crew office to get my ID. Just got back from that training, and I'm basically free until 8.45, which is the first set of the night tonight. There's really nothing else on the schedule that I have to do, um, but I'll definitely uh, review the music and uh, probably check out some of the other music acts. Compared to yesterday, today's kind of a, a breeze. So. Now, later in the cruise, there are more trainings, um, but other than that, that kind of sums up the week. So here's an overview of what the music schedule looks like on uh, a ship like this. There are a lot of acts. There are nine acts, including the DJ. The rock piano, obviously, uh, the horn trio, string trio, got Latin duo, country duo, got piano bar guy, guitar soloist, Caribbean soloist, and a DJ. Today's uh, C day one right now, so we're gonna be playing some Motown in the Ocean Plaza, and then uh, tomorrow we have off, so that's great. We do uh, five day cruises, uh, another five day, and followed by a four day. So, usually on the second night of the cruise, we have what's called uh, elegant evening or formal night, and that's when we have to uh, dress up in uh, you know nice clothes. We try to look our best, so uh, I'll be rocking it out in a suit tonight. Here we go. We performed two sets of Motown music on this night, followed by two sets of variety music. The idea is to pull in the crowd with a specific advertised theme and then play variety for the rest of the night based on whatever audience we ended up having. Day three, our first port day, Cozumel, Mexico. Here's a view from the ship. The morning began with a crew drill, followed by tech runs and sound check for the main stage show that we'd be performing with the dance cast on the last night of the cruise. But other than that, we were off for the rest of the night. I had some dinner with friends, and then we headed upstairs to check out the crew party. This one was particularly nice as management on board allowed us the use of the aft pool area. Day four, second port day, Progreso, Mexico. We attended environmental training in the morning, Soon after, I did laundry and spent my free time doing trainings. So in addition to uh, classroom-style trainings, we also have to go through these uh, trainings that we can do on our, our laptops or our phones. There's a couple here that I can do while I wait for laundry. You know, stuff such as business conduct and ethics, ADA trainings, workplace conduct, and the alcohol policy. So it take about 20 minutes each, so uh, I'm going to go do that now. All right. 100%. Smart guy, you know. Later that evening, we played our country and rock sets, and just like that, it was the last day of the cruise, and we headed back to Galveston, Texas. Here I am in the Crew Training Center working on my videos for you guys. This place has a lot of resources for us to use for self-improvement, and a great place to hang out and get some work done. Later that night was the main event, the show in the main lounge. We had a quick sound check got dressed, and then waited backstage with nervous excitement. Unfortunately, I'm not able to post actual footage of this show for several reasons, but it was a blast and it was a nice change from our usual venue and gig. And that brings us to the end of the cruise. Had a lot of fun making these videos for you guys, hope you enjoyed them, hope they were informative. I'm gonna try and get back to making some music. But let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see about musician life on cruise ships. Thanks for watching.